morning, it's Uncle Mori here with another shave. Today is Aussie Wednesday where I feature Australian made soaps and other products. Right, today I'm featuring something you can pick up in a supermarket. It's Australian made. It's by Brutal Truth. I think you can pick it up in Coles or Woolworths. I picked mine up in Woolworths a few weeks ago. It was on discount, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's a shave cream and quite a liquid one. As you can see, I put a couple of squirts there in the bottom of my bowl there. And even though it's probably, it's designed for a, a brushless shaving, it will lather up as well, so we'll give that a shot today. I haven't used it before, so I don't know how it's going to go. The scent on it is uh, not that strong, probably just below medium, but it's got a quite a mix of essential oils in it. One of the things uh, Brutal Truth have is all natural ingredients. I, I'll just show you the back there. You might be able to see the ingredient list. And uh, it's all natural ingredients. So they only use essential oils, uh, the scented as well. And it's also vegetarian, completely vegetarian. No paraffins. No animal products, no testing on animals. So a completely natural product. So I'll just put um, a pre-shave on. Now the pre-shave I'm using today is soap <laughs> I picked up about a year ago that uh, didn't perform very well. Otherwise, because it's its main ingredient is olive oil, so olive oil, as you may or may not know, is a bit of a lather killer. But I found it's quite useful as a pre-shave. picked up. It's the uh, Yaki Atlantis. It's got a little seashell inside with a little bit of seaweed and some look-alike sand. Nice looking handle and it's got a new knot in it. It's a 24 mil, uh, what's it called? Bow? Borks? Borks? Borks. That's it. 24 mil Borks silver tip High density knot. It's uh, a new knot from Yankee, so we'll give that a shot. And looks quite nice. You can see it's got holding a bit of moisture quite nicely. So we'll start leathering up that, uh, that cream. Won't take long to actually. And I, as you can see, I've got a little bit of soapy cream now, so I'll just add a touch of water now. Yeah, it's not a very strong scent, probably not even medium, I don't think. It's uh, on the light side of scents. Lots of scents in there. 
I can smell, smell citrus wood and florals and a little bit of spice from the pepper. Tasmanian pepper. It's quite a pleasant scent. As you can see, it's not taking long to whip up a nice lather there. Let's add a bit more water. You don't need a lot of water with creams. Around a little bit more, and I think I'll go with that. Yes, yeah, that's looking pretty good. So that didn't take long at all, which is pretty normal for creams. And it seems to be quite stable in the bowl there. Just wet the face a bit more on. Paste that on. Brush is working nicely. Oh, I lost a bit. That's fine. The pre shaved soap I put on acts as a bit of a cleanser as well. You might have noticed I'm also using my new new lathering bowl. It's a yaki yaki bowl. It looks a little bit like um, the fine accoutrements bowl, but it's a little bit taller and the little hole there for the brush is a lot wider. So uh, the actual brush will actually sit in there, unlike the fine accoutrements one. Alright, the razor I'm using today, just coincidentally, is uh, also from Yaki. It's the Yaki Adjustable version 1. Uh, it's got a uh, Pira Swedish Super Steel blade in it. So we'll give that a shot. I've got it set to about just under 2. Nice, get a bit of feedback there. Nice, nice bit of uh, slickness there. Not bad at all, that soap or cream. Worth a try. I only paid eight dollars, I think, for a 250 ml container. I don't remember the exact price. It was a couple of weeks ago. Now this Yankee razor it shaves nicely. They have a problem with their build quality on this razor. The, um, the adjustment is only good to about three and then the then the becomes uneven. It goes on a slant. So it's not very good that way. Once you get past three, uh, in the lower numbers it's alright. Fortunately for me I only need it up to about two. Well, worth a try if you uh, can find something in your local supermarket. I'd give it a try. The scent is pleasant. 
at least pleasant to me. Yeah, I think you might be able to, sh you know, down and over, you see that there's a, that ring around there is not even all the way around. So yeah, that build quality problems on that razor, at least on the version one, I haven't seen any version twos. So hopefully in later versions, so you fix up the quality problems. Surface pasting on very nicely. Other is quite stable, so it's not dissipating quickly. We expect it to stay together during the shave. Uh, across the grain. The brutal truth is uh, men's care products company. Australian, of course, the Australian owned and run company. They harbour out of Sydney. Oh no, they're actually Victorian. Camber Camberwell in Victoria. Burke Street. Burke, uh, not Burke Street. Burke Road. Like uh, most uh, yeah, so it's a nice bit of residual air, I can actually activate it with a wet hand. You can see it comes straight back up again. And nice yeah, protective layer there. I'm quite impressed for a soap that's uh, cost about 10 bucks. Well, actually less than 10 bucks when I bought it. Um, I like this knot on the brush. Very, um, pretty cool. Badger like. Not completely badger like though, but, um, but gives you that badger feel. Synthetic knots have come a long way. Since I started shaving about seven years ago, I don't think there was any synthetic knots available. You could have um, a ball brush or a, or a badger brush. I don't think there was any other choice. Well, if there was a synthetic knot, that weren't any good. When I started, I started with a, a bore knot because bore knots were cheap. But a cheap badger knot is not very good. 
not in those days anyway. There was no dents down to them. They were very scratchy. So if you want to save money on a brush, you're better off getting a good Amiga wall brush, which is what I did. I like the big Amiga wall brush. The Professional is my favorite stand up wall brush. Nice big knot, tall knot, lovely. I still have one in my collection. As you can see, it's a lot of uh, residual left over there. And very slick and protective. So yeah, definitely worth a try, especially if you can pick it up in uh, in your local supermarket. It's called uh, Tomorrow or Not Tomorrow Shave Cream. I've got them where I'm up to. I think I've already done three passes, I can't remember now. Oh, we'll do another one. Yeah, I have done three passes, so I'll just, this is just a touch up. Going around the mouth there. Uh, one advantage of this razor, there is no blade overhang, so it's quite safe to use around the nose and the ears. Very nice. Great result today. That's a nice residual there. Nice feeling on the skin. Not that it worries me too much because I'll shower after this and, um, and put on some aftershave products. So the aftershave feel on a soap is not that important to me. I only reported for others to uh, to know about it. Yeah, it's just, I think it's still okay. I'll rinse it off and see how it feels. I think this is a fairly safe product. Uh, I don't feel any tingles from the from the soap at all.
So I'll do a bit of arm and see how we went. Nothing. Just a little bit around the upper nose here. Upper lip, not upper nose. Otherwise, nothing. Oh, pretty good. And good. Um, I've got, there's still some left, I'll throw the bowl there. Let's see, it's still stable. So, uh, there's still nothing to bowl, so I'll use that. I'll paste that on the face. Nice. So I did two squirts in the bowl when I made this up. At eight dollars, I don't worry about how much I use. Very nice. I might need just need to. up on the lower neck here. Now I only, um, I only go with the grain on the lower neck. Yeah, as close as I can run. So I'll just rinse off the brush quickly. It's got the little yaki symbol on it. 24mm. Box knot, box silver tip, high density synthetic premium knot. It's called. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful. And we went with the yaki adjustable version 1 razor with a repeater blade. And the soap was the Brutal Truth Mo or Not to Mo from um, Woolworths, so I picked it up from. And we'll leave that for now, or we'll, I'll have my shower and come back in a minute. We'll see you shortly. Right, I'm back from my shower, all clean and fresh. And the shave was pretty good, very nice. No weepers, no irritation. You might see some red marks, but a lot, a lot of that's from my um, CPAP mask. And looks very nice. Now, before I get on my post shave, I'll just show the difference between the, the Yaki Bowl. This is a Yaki Bowl. You can see the the wide uh, brush brush holder and uh, quite steep. So I bring up the uh, finer accoutrements. You can see it's at about a half an inch or so taller. It's about the same width, but you can see the handles. The Yaki one is a lot wider and you can hold the brush. So I don't know what the other one, this one's for. It doesn't even go into the bowl. It's a solid piece, so. <clears throat> Not sure why it's got a slant bit there, but this one, you can rest your brush. Brush there, quite easily. Uh, that's the reason I picked it up. Right, so we'll go over the post shave now. I'm starting with Fayez today. My other witch hazel bottle will bring out, so I've got a, a witch hazel and Fayez sitting in my cupboard, so I thought I'd be, I'll use some of that. This has got Lander and um, mint in it, I think. I smell the lavender. I don't 
I smell that meat. But it's probably here. And we'll put on um, the Lucky, oh, sorry, the Lucky Tiger Vanishing Cream. Bit of balm, moisturizer. and then I would throw on a bit of not to save splash. So we'll do that now. Actually, this is made in Australia, I believe. This one may not be an Australian product, but it, the um, from the box it said it was made in Australia. So there you go, another Australian product. We've got uh, quite a few today. One, two, three, three Australian products. Okay, we'll call that a shave. Thank you for watching. You might notice I've got a new hat on. I've got the Big Free 7 hat from the weekend in support of um, uh, motor neuro, neuro disease. Because I went uh, a little bit of a brain lock there. <laughs> anyway. Well, that's my shave, and we'll see you on my next one. Thank you for watching.